Welcome back to Tribe Talk presented by Truist. With us is the longtime field hockey coach at William & Mary, Tess Ellis. And Tess, first of all, uh, you're coming to us from the Tribe Field Hockey Center, and uh, welcome to uh, Tribe Talk. Thanks, Jay. Long time no see. Absolutely. And you've had an incredibly busy season. You for the, uh, well, ever since you've been head coach, making it to the CAA uh, tournament, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. But tell us how this season has gone in, in a nutshell. I, I think in a, a nutshell, to wrap it up, um, I kept getting phone calls and people kept asking how I was doing. And I was like, is something wrong? And they're like, well, you seem to be having a tough year. And I said, no, actually, we're, we're learning so much and, and progressing very quickly through the season, but, you know, people look at your, your record, your overall record. So when they see two and 10 or two and eight, um, not, not realizing the strength of our schedule and how well the girls have been playing, people just assume that you're having a bad year. Getting to the schedule, because that was my, one of the first questions out of the box. You intentionally made this schedule. Uh, mm -hmm. Clearly, you either A, thought you were going to have a very good the team, or B, you wanted them to learn a baptism of fire or a little bit of both. I think you just wrapped it up a little bit of both. Um, extremely young team uh, with COVID hitting all my seniors. Uh, chose to graduate and move on. So I knew that I had a small senior class. Um, unfortunate, I lost Georgia Morgan last year with her ACL injury in the spring, which means that she's still rehabbing. Uh, Rachel Gantz with a back injury, limited playing time. So at the moment, I have two seniors on the field. I have Kara Mangus um, on the field and Kimmy Jones in cage. And with a young team, uh, for them to lead, I thought it was very important that we challenge them with the top 15 schedule in the country. And then with the strength of the Division One schools that we had in Virginia, it really wasn't that hard to put the schedule together, which saved us um, a little bit in our budget as far as travel went, just playing schools at, you know, seven of them within Virginia and playing UVA twice. But it really had... It challenged them. It definitely, we probably had one meltdown that we had to go back and, and just look where our learning curve was that we were playing teams that had the ACC schools, had a regular season in the fall, and then they had a season in the spring. We had played five games in 12 months. So for us to cap play catch up, I had to challenge them with a big schedule. Tell us how particularly you mentioned Kara Mingus. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about her uh, attitude and just her strength uh, uh, for your team this year. Kara, obviously having her older sister to follow, Kara has always stepped up to the plate and, and she just challenges herself physically, mentally with the game and has been a natural leader on this team since she was a sophomore. She got um, selected as one of our captains and has every year moving forward. But the girl just leads by example. Um, she There's never any excuses and she's always there willing to help her teammates work through struggles on and off the field. And and she's just that, that leader that the, the team looks up to and you know, when the chips are down, Kara is that player who's like, give me the ball, I'm going to go. She's our quarterback of the team. So, you know, you worked your way into the CA uh, tournament. Mm -hmm. It's a four-team field. The winner goes to the NCAA. A lot of pressure uh, on, on your team. Do you feel like the tough schedule kind of also prepared them for, for this moment? Well, it certainly prepared the team in the sense of we knew we were going to play JMU or Delaware in such a small pool, you know, whether you come in second or third or fourth, you, you're going to play one of the two. And JMU had a good season last year, so we knew they'd be back in the top four. We knew Delaware had strength of, you know, some seniors staying behind and a very large senior class. So we knew if we could win three of our first four games that it put us into the top four and then after that, we would set ourselves up for our so-called third season. We, when we got to Towson, that was probably our hiccup game. I think that's where we sort of had a little bit of a breakdown. We were in the middle of midterms. It was one of our first um, overnight trips that we had had in two years. 
you know, if you look at the stats, we should have beaten Towson and we didn't. And I think it made the team come back and work a little bit harder and just realize that going to conference wasn't going to be easy. So beating Drexel convincingly, um, playing Delaware, I thought we played them well. I thought we played JMU well. And then after that, you know, having UVA again on our schedule was was a, a great way to sort of say, where are our holes? Show us so we can prepare, practice, get better for the next game. And, you know, that next game happened to be JMU and I thought we did very well. We were missing one of our young defenders, Grace Cornbrook. She um, is dealing with a concussion, but we get her back for conference. Um, so our bench is strong. Um, I think we have the knowledge of whatever system Delaware throws at us. I think we can handle it. I think our corner defense from day one, when we played Penn State, who I think scored six penalty corners against us, that our corner defense has really stepped up. So if we put it in football terms, our special teams have definitely started to come of age um, where that older ex- or the experience from playing these harder teams is, you know, helping the freshman and the sophomore class play catch-up hockey because they just haven't had that experience. Well, Tess, uh, you and your staff have brought this program to uh, a wonderful respectability, not only in this league, but certainly uh, nationwide. And we appreciate your uh, time today and uh, good luck this weekend. I appreciate it, Jay.